restocking and I got this cup and this cup and saucer and then this was in the bin and there were some more saucers so I'm hoping there's more cups I think this is cool and here's a matching sugar bowl and I like that it is made in Merca there we go somebody got the Capizio shells out of the uh, box good for them hi there you have joined myself and jenny and later you will join myself and jocelyn at goodwill here we are in the brown section they had a giant turkey this kind of looked like jim shore kind of a bit little bit in style but it was not it had a very big blue head which i found interesting not a very big blue head but it had a blue head and i thought that was interesting but i decided to leave it there Ooh. That's spooky. Ooh, and that's even scary. That's spooky and scary. These cute little Halloween decorations had snuck their way over into the brown section. They were $1.99 each. Perhaps if we were in the fall, I would have picked them up. I do sell holiday items year round, but it's easier to be geared towards the upcoming holidays than the holidays that are, you know, half a year away. Be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud and that had Maya Angelou and that had the her portrait on the other side. I thought that was nice. Good way to start your morning off with a positive note with that mug. And there the shelves are full, so you had to really look. And then I see that these are those plastic sugar coated beaded fruit. And these are little plums or little raspberries. So I decide to pick those up because I have bought plastic sugared fruit before and they do sell for me. Here is an update of my cart. I only found two cups and this was a tray that was probably purchased at the National Archives Museum in Washington, D.C. It's based on a poster from World War II and I thought it was a cute tray. And good advice not to waste food. It's like, I bet these are like her kids. For the first stones. stones. Yeah, that's really sweet. $3.99. That's really nicely done. I think I'll look that one up because it's so nice. Here are some recent solds. Um, I'm not sure if the higher price ones included shipping or not, but th this figurine was very nicely done. It was in very great shape, it had no chips or cracks, but because the necklace was permanently glued into her hands with the five children's birthstones, I couldn't justify buying it even if it had a low buy-in price for me. They're glued onto her hand. So you'd have to be stuck with those five children. That's really pretty though. I like it. I was saying to myself, why is this so heavy? This is so heavy. Why is it heavy? It's because it's full of wax. No, it's full of wax. Oh. While I was looking at this wreath <laughs> made out of wood, Jenny found a Pickles comic book. She likes reading the comics every morning and hadn't found a Pickles book before, so she was pretty pleased with herself. This was a handmade wooden wreath, and then, let's see, oh, this was a nativity set, and underneath it was a really pretty plate, but it was more contemporary, and it was just for decoration. It will ruin your food, so I decided to leave that there. And then this water bottle was interesting. It had glitter in it, but no water. So it was kind of like a dry water bottle shaker. I've sold this teapot before. HIC Japan. It has the cover on the lip. So it won't get broken. That teapot is a very pretty blue. And if I remember correctly, it has a strainer that goes on the inside for your loose tea. We're finishing up the blue aisle, and I thought this mug was cute. It had a little cabled sweater look to it. And they had a whole bunch of this china, and I wasn't sure who made it, and then it, I finally figured it out. <laughs> what really drew my attention was this blue, and the blue is more brilliant in real life. It's kind of dull here on the video. And then when I turned over the dinner plate, I could finally see who made it. It's Taylor Smith Taylor, and it's the blue lace pattern from the late 1950s.
It was very pretty and I really like the pattern, but I just don't have room to store this much china, so I did leave that for somebody else. And then this poster from 1984, it depicts engineers in the cartoons and I thought it was cute and simple. And so I decided to take that with us as well. And here we are back in the brown section and this stack of serving dishes I thought was nice with a little basket inside, you know, to keep them. They were each priced separately, just seeing if there was a maker's mark. I didn't see a maker's mark on them. And on a bottom shelf was a Southwestern style set of dishes. They were made by Tian Shan, looks like stoneware. You had the plates and the glasses ready for your first meal. <laughs> and let's see, this basket was made in Mexico. And then they had a book cover, four book covers out of craft paper. And I remember covering my books out of the paper bags from the grocery stores doing the same thing. So that brought back a memory. And then I liked how these four uh, utensil pieces had the Philadelphia Eagles logo on it, but it didn't scream Philadelphia Eagles, just very quietly was saying you're a Eagles fan. So I decided to get those to light your way you don't need a giant lantern to light your way no. it's 12.99 <laughs> all right let's see have over here what a magazine rack you had two sides to it two one this way and then one that way I remember that. This chair, they never have chairs here. That's pretty. That's $12. That's nice. They never have furniture here. And then I spied this DeGrazia tile on the bottom shelf. He is from Arizona, or was from Arizona, and I recognized the artwork on there, so I decided to take that with me. I like this style of Southwestern things. I like his drawings. And then I was seeing these little cups or mugs here. I think they're cups, bowls. They're bowls, they don't have handles. <laughs> and then the last thing I found was this hand-painted wooden plaque, God Bless America with a bear. I thought it was nicely done. So I decided to get that. And next up, we're going to go to the Big Goodwill with Jocelyn. I hope you can join us. Three hours later. Oh, that's a top. That's a really impressive stopper. Find a bottle of I found this Ray Dunn gulp mug. It did have some surface wear to it, but I was able to clean it up pretty good. And I thought these two poinsettia glasses were very pretty. I couldn't find a name on them. Usually they have the artist's name somewhere on the bottom, but I thought those were pretty. Probably should have picked those up, but I didn't. And making our way further down the clear glass section, there were a whole bunch of these little glasses. And I found two here. I found some others sprinkled throughout in different colored sections with the store. It was interesting. Lennox for the win. Is it? $2.99. Stickers covering it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> the little elephant was made by Lennox. Probably made in China. I don't think it was made in the USA, but I think the little figurine was cute. Here was a bag of mystery things. I wasn't really quite sure what those were. Maybe part of a toy or some kind of kitchen aid. Not sure. But anyway, moving on. Here was a hobbyist piece. This was a quilted looking teddy bear. And then here was another hobbyist piece. It was missing the pupils, like a little bit of light glistening. It was expensive. It was $7. So I left that on the shelf, but I was able to find this piece. You know you want it. <laughs> and then I found a whole bunch of cups and dishes that were made out of coconuts. I found that interesting. I'd never seen those before. whole bunch of them. Great for a tiki bar. And here I'm just giving you a look at the shelves. This is kind of like when they throw all the colors together. It doesn't really have a set theme to it. There were these two hobbyist pieces that had a styrofoam head on a bottle, a bunny. 
little pear ready just in time for Easter. Um, look at this clown painting. I saw that. Isn't that great? That is great. Someone did a good job. Oh, oh, he has explosives. <laughs> he has explosives. He has a firecracker. He has a firecracker. I didn't have to take. Oh my gosh! I walked right. You walked right by them. Oh, they're so cute. They are cute. Oh, they're terrific. All right. I like picking up cheese boards, especially ones that are unusual. I felt this wasn't too crazy unusual, so I decided to leave that there, even though it did come with the knife. They're easy to ship, and they're usually made of wood, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. This was a cute plate with some gnomes in the shape of a Christmas tree. And then I found some artwork. This was a whole stack of the same print. Found that interesting as well. Here is a hobbyist piece. Now I did pick this up because it, even though Halloween's a while away, right now it's February, but I did pick it up because it's a hobbyist piece and it won't be there next time. Jocelyn's pointing out that hobbyist piece to me, but I decided to go back to this one. I like the cute little mice. One's asleep in the leaves. So I brought that home with me as well. Found a lot of critters on this trip to Goodwill. Then this was very lightweight. It was almost kind of creepy feeling the way because it was so lightweight. There was no, I don't know, it just kind of had a weird texture to it. So I did not like the feel of that. And then here was an ice bucket. I have not had very good luck selling ice buckets. Maybe that would be a great 4th of July item. I did have some wear to the paint, but I did move it up to a higher shelf so it wouldn't accidentally jump off the shelf and break. Here was some more artwork. We're getting down low to see if there's any treasure on the bottom shelves. And I found these little metal signs. And then this little figurine is marked Thun, Teddy Thun. And it has Italy on the back of it. I thought it was nicely done. And then here are some more hobbyist pieces. They looked more country to me. They kind of look like stuffed animals. Here is somebody's small eagle collection. In an upcoming video, I'm going to give you uh, a, some footage of an eagle that we saw on the side of the road. It was alive, don't worry. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then I found this Port Marion butter dish with strawberries on it. I thought that was very pretty. It does show some age and some previous use, but there are no chips or cracks. And then we found this art piece of this punk rocker. Thought that was funny. And Jocelyn spied this paperweight. Um, I thought it was really, really pretty with the blue colors. It has a fairly clear bottom to it, so I decided to take that because she did not want it. And then I also found another Ray Dunn mug. I thought it just said good egg, and it wasn't until I got it home that I realized the other side says bad egg. We also found this Gantz little trinket dish with the bird on it, and she didn't want it, so I decided to take that with me as well. Oh. oh, it's like glassy baby adjacent. I know. They're usually signed though. These are pretty. So I think this is the closest I've ever come along and I found a glassy baby. It's because the way you find it. It's not signed. My understanding is that they're always signed. We could pretend that. Watch them not always be signed and I put this back and this is actually... That's the one that's... This, this was one. Look at that! <laughs> that's a nightmare before Christmas. That's Jack. I knew somebody who likes nightmare before Christmas. Fresh cart. Let's go. Fresh cart. <laughs> oh, do you? Mine's under glass and it's really big. I think she got this one out, but it looks like there's damage on that. Did you want this? No, it's all you. My cart is full. Oh, <laughs> Even if I wanted to. I mean, no, I probably could. Oh, look, I just found one of these up in uh, Wellsboro. It's for your violets. Ah. Here, and you get Andrew this. Well, it's best dad. <laughs> look, there's like a whole thing that we were going to get him. I love it. Looks like there's some more on the back. I decided to take the stitchery with me and put that in my cart. And here are some more of those glasses that I was telling you about earlier in the video. 
these were in the green section. So I found that interesting. And someone's collection of false graph in that pattern was at the store. We found a whole bunch of it that day. And this is going to wind up our trip at the Goodwill. We're going to finish here in the green section. And upcoming is everything that I picked up on both of these trips to Goodwill. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to try and get everything listed in the next couple of days. So please look back at my eBay store. The link to my eBay store is down in the description for every video. I hope you're having a great Valentine's Day and I'll see ya.